That's it. That's it. How are y'all doing today? Hey. Yeah. All right. Everybody ready? Yeah. We're going to get in, do a 200 freestyle, 50 breaststroke, 50 horizontal egg beater, and two sprints to get the heart rate up. Then we're going to play some keep away so that you're aware of what's around you, where the ball is, skills picking up the ball, and then we'll do some shooting. OK, let's do it. So I first met Brenda, of course, by uh, pool and at a water polo game. She was a younger player and played against my brother when they were young. I got to meet her when she became a student athlete at Stanford and then with the national team. Really got to know her and understand her story. And we've been close in terms of our uh, desire to grow the sport, especially among communities that are not traditional water polo communities. Brenda had worked with Project 2020, did a program for water polo with the local community. Brenda Via Foundation is taking that and broadening its scope. And so with a focus on water safety, we really want to bring swimming and the love of the water, a lifetime of aquatic enjoyment, water sports, water activities, and uh, we want to start with local communities. Brenda's legacy is huge for our foundation. She is the Michael Jordan of water polo. Not only her commitment to four Olympic games, but her desire to grow the sport and to provide opportunities to show that water polo is for everyone. It really comes down to access. If you think about where the pools are and how much public pools cost, I want my sport to be more diverse and if I'm not there doing the work, I'm afraid I, I don't think others care about this as much as me. And that might be egotistical, but I think if I can do it, why not help? Okay, let's start passing in groups of three. We want to make sure that these are lasting and sustainable programs. Ready, set. We want to make sure that we have a starting point and get an entry into aquatics but there needs to be involvement throughout the time. There needs to be program building. And we want to empower local coaches, uh, local volunteers to become part of that. And we want to be there every step of the way. And I think about the 28 games, the LA 28 games coming back. I mean, if I want to dream big, I think about the kids that we're coaching now and of the kids we're introducing to some lessons through our foundation and through programming, could any of the kids that we help maybe be in LA 28? When kids can see the possibilities, it's exciting. And so representation will be a key. And that's something that our foundation is eager to grow.